This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1063, Living Your Life Purpose, by Steve Pavlina of stevepavlina.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. Happy Thursday, welcome back, or welcome for the first time if you're new here. This is where I simply read to you every single day of the year, including weekends and holidays, from many different authors, the best I can find, with their permission. And before we get to today's post, Small business owners wear a lot of hats, and while some hats are great, others, like the filing taxes and running payroll hat, are not so great. That's where Gusto comes in. Gusto makes payroll, taxes, and HR actually easy for small businesses. Gusto automatically pays and files your federal, state, and local taxes, so you don't have to worry about it. Plus, they make it easy to add on health benefits and even 401ks for your team. Oh, and you can get direct access to certified HR experts too. Sounds like a pretty good way to kick off 2019 for your business, right? But here's the thing, deadlines for the new year creep up earlier than you think, and you're gonna wanna get started now. Don't wait, let Gusto make it easier on you. And as a bonus, listeners get three months free when they run their first payroll. That is one hat you're gonna be glad you gave up. Try a demo and see for yourself at gusto.com slash old. That's G-U-S-T-O dot com slash O-L-D. For now, let's get to the post as we optimize your life. Living Your Life Purpose by Steve Pavlina of stevepavlina.com. For many years, I've had a pretty clear sense of my life purpose, and I like to think I've been doing a good job living it. I feel fulfilled most of the time, and I'm very pleased with my current direction. My normal experience is to feel that I'm in the flow of inspiration, and I seldom feel stuck. My life has been working very well and it seems to be getting better each year. Here's the purpose statement I currently have on my about page, quote, to care deeply, connect playfully, love intensely, and share generously, to joyfully explore, learn, grow, and prosper, and to creatively, brilliantly, and honorably serve the highest good of all, end quote. It may not mean anything to you, but I still get a surge of emotion each time I read it. I think it does a job of succinctly summing up how I wish to live and what inspires me most. One of my favorite books on the subject of life purpose is Life on Purpose, Six Passages to an Inspired Life by Dr. Brad Swift. My purpose statement has worked well for me over the years, but Brad gave me another way of thinking about purpose. His approach didn't replace my current purpose statement, which I still love, but he gave me another perspective I hadn't considered. Instead of thinking about purpose in terms of doing, Brad encourages you to think about it in terms of being. I think one of the reasons my purpose statement has worked so well for me is that it incorporates beingness and it isn't heavy on the doingness in a way that makes me feel pressured or stressed. If your purpose is only about doing, then when you aren't taking action, you aren't on purpose. That creates a pressure to be doing, 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 even when you're feeling burned out. I agree with Brad that it's better to define your purpose in such a way that you can feel happy and fulfilled at all times, not just when you're taking a lot of action. I figure I must be doing something right because I often feel grateful even when I'm just running errands or hanging out with friends. Fortunately, my current purpose statement translates fairly easy to beingness. To care deeply means to be a caring person. To connect playfully means to be a playful person. To joyfully explore means to be an explorer. I liked considering my purpose statement through the lens of being. It helped me recognize that no matter where I am or what I'm doing, I can always be living on purpose. I don't always have to be doing something specific. But there was a greater benefit beyond this. Brad's insights encouraged me to reinterpret my goals, projects, and tasks from the perspective of beingness. I reviewed those items and asked myself, who am I really desiring to be here? My original purpose statement addresses the questions of what and how. I also have an intuitive understanding of the why, but it doesn't really address the question of where. Where do I ultimately see myself living on purpose? This is a fairly general question, but it gave me a lot of clarity. I thought about why I'm in Las Vegas and what I can do here specifically. I thought about where in the broad field of personal development I most enjoy working. I thought about what kinds of situations and positions I enjoy most. There are so many facets to this exploration that I'm still exploring it, which is actually a part of my purpose to joyfully explore. But I've already gained more clarity about some locations or states of being that I enjoy most. One place I enjoy is being in the increasingly overlapping space between technology and personal development. 
I feel perfectly comfortable in both fields. I liked being one of the first people to leverage blogging technology to spread personal development ideas. Now it's commonplace and there are lots of people leveraging tech to promote personal growth. I think that's wonderful. I love having one foot in the tech world and the other foot in the personal growth world. I look for ways to further connect the dots between them. Another location I love is the space of connecting deeply with people face-to-face. I like that I can discuss topics like life purpose or subjective reality with people shortly after I meet them. I like breaking the ice by recognizing that there never was any ice to begin with. I enjoy maintaining an open and approachable posture. I can't always do that online due to the overwhelming numbers, but I'm at least able to do it in person most of the time. To me, being in the space of an intimate connection with someone is a very joyful place to be. When I remind myself to simply be in these places, my life flows very easily and I feel happy and fulfilled. Interestingly, this focus on being has led to a lot more action. For example, by reminding myself that I love being in the overlapping space between tech and personal growth, I've been devouring tech company biographies lately, coming up with new ideas for how tech and personal growth could continue to merge. I've also made some tweaks to my website, so serving up pages more efficiently than it was a week ago. By reminding myself that I enjoy FaceTime with people, I arranged a meetup in a local park last Sunday. About 14 people showed up. I brought a bunch of my discs that I use for disc golf, and several of us had fun throwing them around. That was my way of expressing to connect playfully. I'm also working on booking more workshops for the fall, which will bring even more people together in the same physical location, where all of us can connect playfully and learn and grow together. The irony is that I don't feel like I'm really doing much, but I'm getting a lot more done than usual. I'm not trying to force anything. I just focus on where I wanna be and action flows effortlessly from there. I'm enjoying this really nice flow right now. Being in the right place is very powerful. When you're in the right place, for you, the doing part follows naturally from it. You don't have to push yourself to take action or fight against procrastination. When you're in the right place of beingness, life automatically supports you. Brad's work got me thinking in new directions about other parts of my life, such as my goals, projects, and actions. I started thinking less about to-dos and more about where do I want to be right now? Once I figured that out, I discovered to my delight that the right actions flowed rather easily from there. You just listened to the post titled Living Your Life Purpose by Steve Pavlina of stevepavlina.com. And don't forget, Gusto offers modern, easy payroll, benefits, and HR to small businesses across the country. And if you want your business to be all set up by 2019, you don't wanna wait. Get in touch now and get three months free when you run your first payroll. Just go to gusto.com slash old. That's G-U-S-T-O dot com slash O-L-D. That'll do it for today. Thank you for being here. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the Friday show tomorrow where your optimal life Oh, wait.